Hello, okay, friends. Um, in this session, I would like to show you the basic concept of LK. Some of you complained about the uh, philosophy. So we start the simulation in order to show you some of the principal concept. Now here we are in the main map, so-called main map, and uh, we are standing at an airport. And one of the most asked questions was how do I zoom and unzoom? And this is uh, totally different than in other comparable softwares. This is quite easy to do. Um, this is following our turbulence proof concept, which means that we don't have any buttons or things like that. You just tap on the screen. So we have um, different screen areas for zooming. We have this area and we have this area. So if we tap on that, it's zooming. And if we tap here, we can zoom out. And if we want to zoom in, we go here again and tap here. And we don't do not only have the main map, we have uh, in the new concept multi maps. And we simply tip on that area here or on that area here. So let's go to that direction. Then we are in the multi map page two, where we see a side view and a top view, which is most commonly cluttered. We see our aircraft symbol here from the side and we can change the ratio between the top and the side view if we simply tap here and pull it down and then we can change the ratio even entirely to top view or we tap here and go up and then we change it back together with the side view. What we see here is always um, some kilometers in ahead of us. And we can, of course, do the zoom, like in main map here. And we can zoom out even to a very high zoom level. Some of you may be annoyed by this uh, complex airspace. We easily can turn that off. Therefore, we have the menu. You can call the menu always on the button right corner. So you click into the button right and then our menu points open. And we don't want to show airspaces and this is regarding to display. So we touch the display and then we say airspace off and then it's gone. As you can see, we are on the very high zoom level now. We even can see the sea here. So now we zoom in again and we zoom out. Now we can follow to the next page, which is also very interesting together with airspaces but it's also the task shown here uh, let's say some words about the side view we see the terrain profile we see the airspaces from the top view and the side view so this gives us a three-dimensional uh, view to the airspace structure. If we want to know more about an airspace, we simply do a long tap on the particular airspace and then we see what it's about and we even can disable that. If we disable that, for example, the CTR, it's still there in the side view. That's to remind us that there is an airspace and we can re-enable that again. Now it's enabled again. 
Okay, that's so far from the basic concept of the turbulence proof. Uh, we also can call info pages. Then we do not tap in the map area, but in the so-called button bar area. And we have three regions here. We have the middle, the left, and the right. If I tap into the middle with a short tap, then I see the cruising information, so we get all the relevant flight data. And then we also can tap to the left and to the right. We have always uh, indicated in which page we are. This is the 1.1. If we go to the right, it's the 1.2. Another right, 1.3, 1.4. One point five, one point six, and back to one point one. We do another tap in the middle. We go to pages two, which is all the airfields or airports, landables, turn points and back to airports. We can go to the other side, which is turning around to the last page of this section. And then we have the three. This is 3.3, .3, where we'll have a list of all thermals we have passed. And that's how the concept works. Another interesting thing is how can I select something and this is also straightforward following the turbulence proof concept. Uh, we do not need to press one of these items. We have the cursor and similar to the zoom we tap on the lower area or on the higher area in order to move the cursor one position up or down. If we want to select one item, we tap, do a long tap in the middle of the screen and then we have selected it. And we can close it again. As you may have noticed, we have quite big buttons also regarding to the turbulence proof concept. So this guarantees you that you don't need any stylus in flight, which is from our perspective uh, more or less unusable in flight. Okay, that's it for the basic concept. There are a lot of pages to follow, but this is not what um, I wanted to show now. Just wanted to show how to zoom and how to operate LK. Okay, I hope you had fun with that and you will enjoy that concept. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.